Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will showcase you about the Gherkin. History of London's newest iconic building. The Gherkin is one of London's most fascinating looking structures, with its unusual shape dotting the London skyline. In 1992, an explosion rocked London's financial area, kicking off the development of the Gherkin. The provisional IRA set off an explosive device near the Baltic Exchange, severely damaging the structure. The structure was demolished, and a larger tower was built in its place by local officials. The Gherkin originated as a much grander structure known as the Millennium Tower, which never materialized. The building's original design generated concerns that it might significantly disrupt Heathrow aviation traffic. Concerns were also raised that it would obstruct views of St. Paul's Dome from certain parts of the city. Norman Foster created the scaled-down version that now stands at 30 St. Mary Axe after the original design was rejected. The Gherkin's construction began in 2001 and was completed in December of 2003. It didn't open to the public for almost a year after that. During the early stages of building, the grave of a young Roman girl was unearthed. The girl was kept at the Museum of London throughout construction and then reburied at the base of the tower after it was finished. One of London's most well-known skyscrapers is 30 St. Mary Axe, also known as the Gherkin. It has gained a prized position in the hearts of Londoners and among the enduring icons of Buckingham Palace, as cool as a cucumber and uniquely formed. Because of its likeness to that particular cuisine, it is known as the Gherkin. A bar for workers and their visitors is located on the top floor the 40th, in fact and offers a panoramic view of London. The Gherkin isn't normally open to the public but you can visit Helix Restaurant and Iris Bar, which are located on the top floors and have amazing panoramic views across the city of London. You can also can step inside the iconic building during special events such as Open House London. They are noted for their inventive design style, which contrasts sharply with the more conventional aspect of typical London structures. The Gherkin is essentially a curving, elongated shaft with a rounded end that looks like a stretched egg. Its high capacity lifts can transport 378 passengers at a time at speeds of 6 meters. At the summit of the building, one of London's highest lounge bars and restaurants is located, which, at 180 meters, is higher than any of the Shards or 20 Fenchurch Street's offerings. The Gherkin has 24,000 square meters of external glass, which is the equivalent of five football fields. Gherkin is over three times the height of the Niagara Falls. The Gherkin's maximum circumference is only two meters shorter than the building's height. A big window came off of the skyscraper and dropped 28 stories to the earth in April 2005, sparking extensive inspections and raising concerns about the tower's long-term viability. The swirling stripe pattern evident on the exterior has a structural significance as well, as it is the consequence of the building's energy-saving technology, which allows air to flow up through spiraling wells. The Gherkin was built using about 35 kilometers of steel. The Gherkin is now largely used as an office building. Many significant corporations, like Swiss Re and some Sky News offices, have their headquarters here. Today, some of the most popular television and radio shows are filmed here or nearby. Hope you liked the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.